I'm Robert St. Giovanni, and I'm here today with Peter McLaughlin from the Space Gallery. And Peter, I was walking around town, and I saw these waking window posters and something about 100-plus bands in two days. What's what's going on? Uh, it's the Waking Windows Music and Arts Festival. It's a two-day festival here in Portland, and it is a diverse mix of music and performance, uh, authors, comedy, um, genre-defying events, um, and it uh, happens over two days, uh, tomorrow, this, uh, this Friday, September 21st, and Saturday the 22nd, and across 18 venues, and um, it includes over 100 per individual performances and performers, um, and uh, a dozen special events, and um, um, yeah, it's, um, it's a real community event. It's a, we think of it as a real uh, celebration, um, a coming together of uh, disparate arts and music scenes, both in Portland, in the state, and far beyond. We have bands from as far as Italy this year, a number of Canadian bands, bands from New York, bands from Philadelphia, um, as well as all over the state of Maine and New England. Um, and of course, Portland is very well represented. Always about half of the performers are from Portland and uh, the surrounding areas. And uh, it's in its fourth year, um, and it's grown a little bit each year. I think last year we really hit our stride. We found our vision for what we wanted the event to look like, what we wanted the format to be, what sort of programming we wanted to have, what were the voices that we wanted to highlight, um, what are the voids we are trying to fill, the, the sorts of events that aren't happening, the sorts of people in our community that perhaps are underrepresented. Um, and that's really what we want to do. Um, like I said, it's a community celebration, and we want to we want to highlight the most exciting and uh, perhaps under the radar things that are happening in our our community. Um, the Friday night of the festival happens all in Bayside, all centered around Bayside Bowl. Um, we'll be using the downstairs there as well as the rooftop for some DJs. We'll be in the public workspace with the brand new, formerly city-owned warehouse space where we'll be doing a fashion show of sorts, a uh, form subverted. It's uh, it's um, it's a bit different than what you you think. There'll be no uh, there'll be no runway walking. It'll be more immersive models in the space. Um, and uh, morph into a dance party at some point in the night. There'll be uh, New Fruit as well, which is a um, incredibly powerful um, feminist art collective that works in the New System Laundry building on Paris Street. Mm -hmm. They'll be doing a roving performance that will begin over by the Mecca dormitories on Shepley Street and and pro, uh, be a procession um, to the New Fruit space on Paris Street. Um, the new systems exhibitions space, new system exhibition space, uh, also in that same building on Paris Street will also be open. Um, the Ephodian Theater will be doing music and uh, will be doing a big kickoff concert on the USM Payson Smith lawn um, that will start in the late afternoon. And then Saturday uh, is all on Congress Street. I'm not going to list all the venues because there's 12 of them. Mm. Uh, but it spans from Space Gallery a half mile down to Tandem Coffee. And lots of the the players that you would expect are involved, from the museum to Congress Square Park to Geno's and Empire, Blue, Local Sprouts, the Jewel Box, uh, One Longfellow, and more. Mm. And um, there is a incredibly diverse mixture of, of musical programming, um, but we also have a film showing screening at um, uh, at the Portland Museum. Right. We have our record fair. We have the the vibrant and really um, always incredibly inspiring reading series happening from 12 to 3. It's kind of a pub crawl style lead, reading series. It moves from um, uh, it moves from Tandem to One Longfellow uh, to Local Sprouts and the whole audience moves with it. Um, a handful of different readers at every event. Um, yeah, so an incredibly, incredibly wide range of activities um, and a lot of them are all ages, right? Yes, yes. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, um, um, most of our venues are all ages. There are a few that are not, um, that ha are either 18 or 21 plus, but the majority are all ages. And we, we think about it as a, as a family, a friendly event. Mm -hmm. um, sure, there are certain performances that push boundaries, um, and we encourage folks to to look through the calendar um, or the schedule on our website at wakingwindowsportland.com and um, go to the lineup page where you'll see photos of all the performers and links to their individual pages and, and really explore things. 
Um, but yeah, it's 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 not just a community event. It's not just a family friendly event. It's I think it's a an event f- with a little bit of something for everybody. Mm. You know, um, um, I get asked sometimes. You know, who is this event for? Um, and uh, I, yeah, I'd like to think it's for everybody. It's for the community, and uh, it's not just for the serious, you know, hipster heads who look down that poster and with you know a hundred names on it and are so excited because all of their favorite bands are there it's for the people who look down that poster and see one name that they recognize or none Mm. Um, we want those people to come out and it's a discovery event Mm. um it's about discovering new things and um and um and uh, perhaps uh you know finding some inspiration and and a new new favorite a new love nice and how do people find out about where to get tickets and all that yep you can get tickets at wakingwindowsportland.com um uh, you can also find them through the space gallery website and um you can get them in person um tonight um tonight being uh thursday the, the 20th at space gallery during the algiers uh, show, um, which is a Waking Windows kickoff, uh, pre-party as it were. And then anytime during the festival, the, the box office will be open at Space Gallery and you can get tickets there.